Hi guys, my name's Elliot Harlan Bethel and this video is going to be about food and my opinions on food and the processes that I've learned around revolving around food. Um, if it resonates, please take what you will from it. If it doesn't, just fuck it off and let it pass like clouds in the sky. It won't have anything to do with your reality. Um, I started becoming the process to um, becoming vegan probably about three years ago now. I stopped eating meat and my reasons for stopping eating meat was that I was very anxious, I was very depressed, I had a lot of fear and I started to see my body as a vibrational frequency instrument. Now as this instrument I wanted to finally tune it so that I could send out, transmit and receive the vibrations and frequencies that I wanted to choose. This is how the law of attraction works, it's how karma works, it's how vibrational resonance works. So in order to do that I really needed to clean my internal system out and I saw one way of doing that was to cut out meat. Now the reason I thought cutting meat out was going to do this was because I started to look at animals as a vibrational frequency as well. So these animals were being kept in very very small shelters, a lot of them, I'm not saying all farms are like this, there are ones that treat animals a lot nicer, but still I didn't want any of that fear, that animal at the end of the day still knows that what's happening to it when it's being lined up to being killed, because that energy is around the other animals and they pick up on it. They are sensual beings like we are, they pick up on these things. So the vibrational frequency of the meat I was eating was very, very low. It was very fear-based, it was very anxious, it was very, it was very depressed within itself. Um, and it's the same, this energy goes into the dairy that's produced by these animals. So now, by me taking that vibration of fear, anxiety, and, and what I was seeing as quite a disgusting vibration, I was now putting that into my body. Now, by putting that into my body, my body is an instrument or a processing tool that now has to work through that. So now by taking that, I am now becoming a little bit anxious, depressed and fearful. And it's lowering my vibration. And I thought I'll give this a test and I will give it up. My depression went, my anxiety went, a lot of my fear around stuff went and my vibration rised. Um, in, in doing so, my vibration rose, rose higher and I felt a lot more vitality. I felt a lot more connected to everything. I felt that my answers came very, very quickly. Whenever I wanted to think of something, it came through very quickly. My connection to everything was very, very pure. Now, the way I describe this in some of my talks is, if I'm a DVD player and I put a horror film into myself, I'm gonna project a fucking horror film. If I put a romantic comedy into myself, I'm gonna project a romantic comedy. Now, what makes me think by putting vibration of fear, negativity and anxiety into my body, I'm going to start playing a romantic comedy. It was beyond my thoughts. It was, it was just beyond me. And when I cut it all out, all of my depression, all my anxiety went. So if you're suffering from any of these, I would really, I can't tell you what to do and I never would. All I'm here to do is explain my story to you. And if something resonates, then you can cherry pick what you want from it and take that into your timeline. I've created and anchored my own timeline. And if you like some of it, then pick what you will and take from it. Anything you don't like, just let it pass like a cloud in the sky and it's nothing to do with you. We're multi-dimensional beings and we can all create our own realities. Now with dairy, I found that dairy created a lot of mucus within my body. Um, and the mucus created inflammation and ultimately from my studies and from what I've been looking into now I stepped away from everything and went within and started to ask for questions is that inflammation is the cause of all illness that when we have inflammation in our body it puts a dam in between our 114 chakras and our 72,000 nadis these are energy centers and ley lines within our body where energy flows through so when one of these becomes blocked if we say go to a doctor and they say you've got to have a test for cancer. Now that blockage is there and that thought has been projected onto me from that doctor. So now that doctor's projecting an energy of cancer onto me. Now my mum, whoever's with me in the doctors, is now projecting that energy on me. And now I'm projecting that energy onto myself. And when I go out into my friends and I tell my friends, then they're projecting that energy onto me. And because energy is not flowing through my body freely, I can now manifest a man-made thought form within my body because the energy is not flowing through me. Whereas if I was completely inflammation free and energy is flowing through me, no illness can manifest because all illness is a man-made construct. It's a thought form that can then manifest in the body once you get it into your mind. Once you become transcend all these illnesses and your body becomes free flowing of energy, you cannot pick up an illness. You are free flowing, pure, healthy and full of vitality. So there's no dams for anything to stop in because it just flows straight through you. 
Now these are obviously my thoughts and feelings. Um, if anything's resonating with you, then feel free to investigate it more yourself. I have been completely healthy for around four years now. I've had a little, little snick or a little cold come in here and there, but I've put into place various different um, meditations and processes that I've used and that I've learned through various shamanic training and um, various other spiritual processes and spending time out in nature, grounding, earthing, sun gazing, all of these things. And I can honestly say, hand on my heart, that all of these illnesses, all of these minor things that have come through have just disappeared within 24 hours. And the people that I've worked with have experienced the same things. Um, I took a decree, decree of truth around three years ago so that every word I speak is my truth, whether it impacts someone in a negatively way, ultimately that truth comes through in my words and people will listen to what I'm saying. Pythagoras used to ask all of his students to always speak their truth, to fast from food for a certain amount of time, to be vegetarian, to study astrology and to take a vow of silence for a certain amount of time. Now I'm going to do another video about vows of silence because I've done several vows of silence for weeks, for weeks and um, they are a very very great way to, to change your point of attraction. So Abraham talks about how every morning we wake up we're resurrected because we get to start from a new point of attraction. Where you go to sleep your conscious mind goes to sleep your subconscious stays awake and it puts into place various breadcrumbs or bridges of incidents for you to follow we now call them synchronicities we now know that coincidence doesn't exist and that we have a very very powerful mind and it can create breadcrumbs for us to follow in order to light up the path for our highest good and the highest purpose if you want to find out more about any of these things I've been talking about, then email me at Mind, Body, Soul, Spirit Coach. Um, I'm going to start popping these little short videos out here um, every now and then as well, um, as, along with the half hour ones and the interviews and stuff. But if you like more of these short videos, then also comment in the, in the box below, like, share, subscribe, and um, yeah, feel free to email me anytime. I try to respond to all of my emails. Lots of love. Namaste.